Hello everyone, happy Wednesday, hope you're doing well. So, now respawn see it. Now, in this video, I was going to do the building video today and this mod review tomorrow, but I flipped mainly because I've got to redo what I was building, basically. It's, it's going to be a, like a little farming area with a little shed and everything, but I, I kind of scrapped my idea and it's late, so I have to, I decided to do this today. Now this, however, is a very, very cool mod review. Uh, and this is very relevant to the style of build I'm kind of doing. It's one of those ones where I, I want to do the review because I'm going to be using it quite a bit within this build. Which is called the Makeshift Furniture Pack, uh, in brackets PS4, by Astel J. Now, I have no idea if this is a also on the... There's an Xbox or a PC version, I don't know. Uh, to be utterly frank... For some reason, Bethesda.net seems to have taken away the feature where I can just click on someone's name and see what mods they've created, unless I'm just they've moved it. It's really bloody annoying because I used to have to check. So if someone wants to check, if not, sorry. However, if you're on Xbox or PC, chances are you have a version or something similar. I wouldn't be surprised. So without further ado, now um, I've disabled a few mods to tidy up my menus a little bit, so you can just see the mod without, you know, obviously me having to search too much. So basically what this adds is a load of really, really high detailed furniture pieces. Now, um, I'm going to have a uh, something to demonstrate stuff first, because the, the only issue with this, and it's for those of you who have used Aslam's Junk Decoration Pack will know this as well, is that inside the workshop, so when I'm, say, place something like that, I can't put items on these. And that's the only problem you're going to have. But to us, they're more for decorative, and you can put stuff on. It just involves a little bit of legwork. So let's just go. They've got these beds. Now, the beds can't actually be used as beds as well. So, for example, with these ones, you'd have to actually... They're more for aesthetic. But, for example, for these ones, these setups here, you could pretty much just, like, pillar glitch an actual bed on, then just select all the whole thing and move in. But they look cool. This, this is, But this is more about just, like, if you want to quickly decorate. I probably won't use the bed section so much. For example, I do like... These and plus to miss, I can probably make these myself anyway, but they look cool and they're the least cool thing. So, there we go. You're starting on a high, but you've got all these different styles of bed. That one right there doesn't work properly because everything's floating unless it's meant to be a psychic bear. But this one, for example, looks very, very cool. And you could, for example, like glitch it. But for example, in Unlock Some Objects mod, there are actually rugs for you to just sleep on the floor, so like the invisible rug, so you could pretty much just plop from the middle of that, and you could have quite a little nice little bed set up. Um, but there are obviously the blank canvas ones, and these ones with the beds, it's um, with the chairs rather, it's very cool. So that, that, they're the least cool part, but they're still cool. I actually really like that one quite a lot. Um, sometimes you might have trouble moving them. See, I'm trying to pick this up, but it's not letting me, so just bear that in mind. Now, I don't know why it says, is there a melon on the floor somewhere? I'll, I'll write it's glitched out, that's why. That happens sometimes. Not to do with the mod, that's to do with the game. <laughs> so in this section, obviously, the furniture chairs. Now, they have loads of cool little chairs now. Now, a quick note as well on this mod. I probably don't personally don't think this will suit every settlement. Uh, the reason why I'm going to use these Abernathy Farm is you'll see they're very, very scrappy looking. Like, this is like proper, you know, making everything out of whatever materials you have lying around, kind of very much like Abernathy looks like now, but for example, when I used it in Sanctuary, it didn't really fit in too much, but they still look very, very cool. Now, I don't think you can sit in these again, but they're more for aesthetics, so you've got loads of little chairs, and they're very, very cool little chairs. You've got these ones here. Quite, very nice, combined with the, say, for example, you can just kind of just, like, slap stuff in, move this here. A little campfire and you've got a nice little setup and it's also pre-decorated as well and it just looks very very cool this mod especially the dev has put a lot of effort into kind of adding things like guns at the sides and just kind of a little bit more non-standard character which i really really like and again these are more for like if you just like this combined with aslam's junk decoration pack you could pretty much just speed decorate anything i don't think there's anything in containers now so the shelves is very cool as well so shelves, they have loads in here. So they actually have... I don't know why they seem to have this shelf here. It's just a... I think it's just a, a non-standard shelf. And same with that one. But you've got these ones here. Now, these you can really easily... Because yeah, I've mentioned this before, but shelves are really difficult to decorate in USO. Or any kind of just in the workshop. Because it's very hard to get things centred. So you could just pretty much just move this around. And kind of like... You can get them pretty close. 
and you can move them inside, which is quite grand. And they've got quite a few of these as well. The books I really, really like. They've actually really, I, I, they've, they've put a lot of effort into these. Um, they've also got these ones, so but we'll get to those in a sec. We'll get those now, actually, because I thought there were more. So these are kind of similar to the Aslam Junk mod in a lot of ways, and the fact is they're just kind of shelves themed around factions, a lot of them. So this is the Minuteman weapon shelf. I really like this one because it's quite haphazard, and it doesn't have the same weapons. The only criticism of the other weapon shelves I've seen in other mods is the fact is that a lot of the weapons you get are just the same, so it's quite you know, a lot of repetition, whereas this looks a little bit more natural. Um, I especially like the food store as well. There are loads of these. There's just so much stuff. But you can see what I mean in terms of the scrappiness. These are a very much... Would suit a certain style of settlement. But I do like what they've gone with here. So you've got the, the railroad one there. One for the Brotherhood of Steel. Which is pretty cool. I like this food one a lot. Actually, I'm going to use that one for Abernathy. Um, and this one as well. If you just want a bit of decoration, a few of the robots at the top, which is very cool. More of the shelves. There we go. So I, I thought they were just... I, th I knew these were in here. They were just, for whatever reason, further down. You may notice as well, what they've gone and done, which I really like, is this won't be difficult for you to find. You may notice that what well, everything has the extension MSF at the start first. It organises them really well, right? So I was really appreciative of that. Because it meant, because I have, you know, Aslam's Junk Decoration and Custom Villa Assets. These are all bunched together. So we've got these kind of cinder block ones as well. You can see what I mean. These would not fit, suit a cleaner settlement. But they very much suit a settlement like Abernathy Farm. Potentially a raider settlement especially. If you want. Because obviously raiders would be. Maybe not these shells specifically. But like you know. These. The scrappier. Like these bits. And the ones. Th these are ones here. Would very much suit if you're going for a raider settlement. Because you know. Raiders are the kind of people who would use this kind of shitty stuff. And they've also got blank versions that obviously, you would need to probably decorate them hand or glitch them in, but, oh, that's from my creation club. But they're very, very cool. Now, the tables and the rest of stuff is where it gets very, very cool. So, the tables are just highly detailed. You know, you can pretty much slap a load of these down, and you've pretty much just already added quite a lot of character. One suggestion to the mod dev, if you happen to see this, maybe replace these to not be nuclear radiation barrels just because for RP wise you know radiated barrels <laughs> indoors outdoors it's fine I put them everywhere but I'm always a bit cautious putting them indoors but other than that it looks really cool so they've got loads of these you can see they've kind of followed for a theme and they've just kind of changed the style of each one which I like and then even left with a blank one as well which is quite cool some some tables you can't even though you can't put stuff on these you can put these on stuff so for example i can put them like on say for example because these are quite low down if i wanted them higher i could just put a load of crates underneath and it would still fit which is quite cool um these tables are really nice like i like these a lot <laughs> they look if you think about it that is precarious as fuck <laughs> Like, that would just fall down straight away, but don't question it. Yeah, it's a game. It's fine, I'm allowed. And we've got loads of these side tables. So even though potentially, like, some of the shelves I wouldn't use so much in all of my settlements, I would definitely use these side tables because they're just something quick and easy you can slap down. Yes, you can't decorate them in the workshop menu themselves, but if you're just going for decoration, you don't really need to because they've already got everything you would already, already want. And, you know, a lot of, like, these little chess boards and everything like that. I like this because... It's quite a kind of cultured and scrappy area combined. Very, very cool workshop areas in this. Some highly detailed look at this with all your foods and everything. And this one with a bit more, well, chem making, I guess. Yeah, actually, yeah, chems. And also a bit of food paste as well, which I'd be found a load in my survival playthrough. And I've been eating it a lot, which is pretty cool. I just, I love the, I, I just love this trend recently is the best way of putting it of people making these kind of just workshop you know kind of like bespoke decor decorations to kind of make your um, settlements look cool because look at this stuff I mean ostensibly you could probably make this actually or m a lot of it maybe not as crisp as this in PS4 without these mods um, without you know them coming pre-packaged like this for the most part, but it would take you ages, and that's what you kind of want. You know, when I decorate loads of supplements to this, I don't want to have to manually decorate everything each time because it's a bit tedious. Okay, that's from my 
my creation club again. So then they've got in the misc tab, they've got these two showers and baths, which look awesome. So you've got basically shower heads popping out the top. And this one is seen as that one, but it's actually got a little sideboard. Again, love it because it's just, it's the kind of thing I've tried to make in my settlements. And it's nice to have something kind of pre-built, especially the fact they have clean towels as well. This person, even though their bath probably could do with a bit of a, bit of a clean in. You know, and also with this, think about this, right, is you can use this, like, say you've got, in the USO mod, you've got the experimental items. I'm not actually going to do it right now, but, like, I'll show you. You've got the water, so you could put actual bathtub water in that, and you've got a nice little kind of, like, wash basin area. I really, really like that. So that was the, the last of the furniture. Now, alongside that, what they also have, which is very, very cool, is a bit of menu lag, because, of course... But they've got a load of crafting stations. Now, you see what they've called Armor Bench 1, Armor Bench 2. Now, each one then has a rug. Now, Astral J mod, can you, mod dev, can you please make invisible versions of these rugs? Please, 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 please. Because basically, the way these will work, if I'm going to be correct on this, is if I go out the menu here and then craft. Yeah, there we go. So I can just basically, and it, it kind of, it, it works, it works, it doesn't look silly. Let's go this one as well. No, no. I mean, it'd probably be interesting, I'd probably be interested to see if I assign someone to it and tell them to go, but it doesn't look ridiculous, which is quite nice. So yeah, I hope the mod dev soon gives us actual invisible rugs, because obviously that just looks ugly as hell, I, I don't know why, but just give us invisible ones, yeah, because they look very cool, but let me look at the others now. So we've got, and they've got obviously named them to where they look. They name them so chem bench one, chem bench two. I especially like the chem benches. I like this on the incredibly precarious, <laughs> on the incredibly precarious um, stands. Got original basic ones, weapon work benches. If you've already seen already, they're basically, they've got these two styles. And they've got to made different versions like this one's nice because it's actually got like a hanging stuff. They are very precarious stuff. Uh, so yeah, they don't have cooking ones, unfortunately, looking at it. But they do have your standard. I guess with the cooking ones, it's a bit difficult, isn't it? But yes, there they are. The various items that have been added in the makeshift furniture pack. Highly recommend you check it out. Again, I don't know if it's on Xbox or PC. I can't check. I have a gander. Someone let me know up in the comment. But if you're on PS4, definitely check these out because... They're just grand. And then add this with Aslam's Junk de um, Workshop Decoration Pack. You pretty much, if you just, just want to feel lazy, you could easily decorate your settlement. You could basically plop these around and not have to do any actual junk decoration yourself. But have everything look very hyper detailed and very, very lore friendly. Anyway, as always, follow me on Twitter at no response. I will have, tomorrow I'm going to have the building video, uh, the penultimate, I think, building video for... Abernathy farm and then I'll do the tour on the weekend. I was actually gonna use that to show you how the stuff didn't work. Never got around to it. It's fine It doesn't you can't put stuff on I've tried before uh, But yeah, so definitely tune in for that and yes you guys enjoy the rest of your week. Take care